Let's begin with this Fox News alert then for you. Uh, Israel now blamed for a series of airstrikes against Syria. An airbase attacked early this morning, hours after one of the worst chemical, atta chemical attacks in history, left dozens of innocent people dead. A Doug Luzader's live force in Washington, D.C., as the U.S. considers retaliation. Good morning, Doug. That's right. Good morning, Heather. We don't know at this point who was responsible for these airstrikes in Syria overnight. Syria's story has been changing. They initially blamed the U.S., seemingly. Now they're pointing the finger uh, at Israel. Uh, Russia, meantime, is blaming Israel. The Pentagon says it wasn't us. Whatever the story is, there is a lot of pressure, though, on the United States to act after those horrific images of a chemical attack just outside of Syria's capital. Uh, some tough talk this morning from the president's Homeland Security Advisor. This is the one-year anniversary uh, of our action, the last time they made the mistake of using these weapons and, and pushing uh, the rest of the world. This isn't just the United States. This is one of those issues on which every nation, all peoples have all agreed and have agreed since World War II is an unacceptable practice. I wouldn't take anything off the table. These are horrible photos. We're looking into the attack at this point. All right, nothing off the table. And from the president, this tweet, among others, specifically blaming Russia and Syrian President Bashar al-Assad, uh, President Putin, Russia and Iran are responsible for backing the animal Assad big price to pay. The question is, what will that price be? They see us, uh, our resolve breaking. If it becomes a tweet without meaning, then he's hurt himself in North Korea. If he doesn't follow through and live up to that tweet, he's going to look weak in the eyes of uh, Russia and Iran. So this is defining moment, Mr. President. You need to follow through with that tweet, show a resolve that Obama never did to get this right. And the timing of this is somewhat problematic. Just days ago, President Trump indicated he wanted to pull U.S. troops out of Syria. Meantime, we expect a meeting of the U.N. Security Council on this very issue later today. Heather. Yeah, coming almost a year after another deadly chemical attack there. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it.